What's up guys? Assalamu alaikum. This is Puya. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Miniconda on your Windows machines and how to create different virtual environments and finally, how to install uh, various Python packages within this environment. So, without further ado, let's begin. First of all, we need to download the Miniconda installation file. Open up the Miniconda's uh, main page. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, scroll down a little bit under the under the latest Miniconda and Story Links section. Uh, uh, open, uh, click on the Miniconda 3 windows. Uh, if you click on it, the, the download will start. I'm not going to click on it because I've already downloaded it. The file should be something like this, Miniconda latest. Um, double click on the file, the setup will pop up. Then uh, click on the next, I agree, follow the recommendation, and uh, in this section you can uh, specify your destination folder. If you don't have any memory concerns on the specified drive, just mm, let it be, unless mm, you can change it with browse or other, or you can just type in the, uh, the destination folder you are content with. So, uh, click on the next. Under this section, Advanced Options, um, there is a box which is not checked. It says Add Miniconda to my path environment variable. It means if you uh, if you do that, it means that mm, if you open a CMD, you can access uh, to the Miniconda because you've uh, added to path environment. I always uh, check this box because uh, when I open a CMT, most of the times I, re I want to have, I want to have access to Miniconda. Although it says it's, uh, it's not recommended, uh, but uh, trust me, click on it. It makes uh, things very easy for you to work with Python, and especially with your environments, which are going to install. So click on the install and wait a little bit till the installation finishes. Cool, the installation is completed. So, okay, again, next, uh, uncheck these two boxes. So, about tutorial and uh, how to start the Anaconda. Click on the finish, and it's done. Open a CMD. Let's check whether Conda is installed or not. Let me get this out. Okay, Conda dash H. Okay, it says it is installed. These are the commands that can be uh, that can follow the conda. Um, and uh, let's see, if, uh, do we how many environments we have here on conda? Conda to to list your uh, install environments, you can uh, execute the following command: conda in the list. Okay, we only have a fun uh, virtual environment, which is by default, it's named base. So how to create different virtual environments and uh, why we need to create different virtual environments. Uh, when you're working on different projects, consider that you're working on a software project like Django and you're developing, uh, for example, you're implementing in uh, a deep learning architecture with TensorFlow 1 or another one with TensorFlow 2, or you're using uh, PyTorch with one of, for one of your projects, you really want to create different virtual environments because, uh, first of all, you cannot install uh, two different versions of the same uh, library of the same library in in the same virtual environment. For example, you cannot install TensorFlow 1 and TensorFlow 2 at the same time. And the same virtual environment. So you can easily create two different virtual environments for each of those uh, libraries. So how to install uh, a virtual environment or how to create it? It's easy. Conda create dash n. Dash n stands for the name. After dash n, you should type in the, the name that you want to specify. Uh, for your virtual environment, which in this case, um, I may, I may want to call it TensorFlow 1. Uh, next to the name of the 
uh, environment, you you should specify the Python Python version that you want to install it. For example, you can specify Python 3.9 or Python 3.10 or the lower versions. It's totally okay. Uh, next to Python version, you can specify all the third-party libraries that you want to be installed on this specific uh, virtual environment. So, for example, you can specify NumPy or Matplotly or even TensorFlow. All these uh, libraries are possible, and you can uh, you can specify any library that's wrong, any third-party library that's wrong. If you don't specify version of your uh, NumPy library, the Conda is going to install the latest version. So I'm going to uh, continue with the latest version. So let's see what happens. Uh, hit the enter, and that's it. Here, the Conda um, lists the packages that will be installed on this environment. As you can see, uh, there are several uh, packages, which NumPy is one of them. If you are content with the list, just type in uh, and Y, which stands for yes, and hit enter. Okay, we'll wait a little bit until uh, the installation finish. Oh, all right, the installation is over. Okay, as it says, to activate this environment, use Conda activity phone. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm just gonna. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna copy it here. Hit enter. Okay. As you can see, it says at the beginning of the command line, it says TF1, which indicates that whatever changes that you make is going to affect TF1, not the base. Okay. Because we have activated tf1 right now and whatever we do we are going to use the libraries inside tf1 or whatever library we install we update or even we remove it's going to be installed on this it's going to be updated on this and it's going to be removed from this one so let's uh open python this is the simplest id of python uh, as it says Python version is 3.9, as we indicated when we were uh, when we were creating. And let's see if we have. Uh, uh, let's see whether NumPy is installed or not. Input NumPy, simplest way to import NumPy. And as you can see, there are no errors. For example, whatever pandas, yeah, uh, module not found error. It says the mm -hmm. pandas is not installed on this library. So. Um, uh, let's see whether the NumPy is installed on base or not. Just, I'm going to exit here. As it says, to deactivate environment use conda deactivate. And, okay, I'm going to deactivate it. And I'm going to open Python again. Python again. And let's see whether NumPy is installed on base or not. As you can see, the NumPy is not on base because we uh, we installed NumPy while we were baiting TF1 environment, which means the NumPy uh, should have been installed exactly on TF1, which is right now. So let me get out of this uh, environment and let me activate TF1 again. So just a little uh, caution uh, here. Just notice about this versioning of Kanda. As you can see, the NumPy, the Kanda says the version that I'm going to install is NumPy 1.22.3. Okay. If you open NumPy in uh, pip repository, you see that uh, you'll see that it says 1.22.4. Which means the latest version, which has been released on May 21, is 1.22.4. But the Conda has uh, installs 1.22.3, a uh, little uh, the one version previous to this one, which means 
most of the times Conda does not install the exact latest version because uh, Conda needs to manage some stuff, needs needs to um, uh, control versioning in inside the inside the virtual environments that it creates. So most of the times uh, is not as up to date as Pip. So if you want to install the latest version available, use Pip for installation. For example, right now I want to install version 1.22.4. Pip install. Uh, now, if I ask this again, it says, uh, "Look, requirement already is satisfied. We're using NumPy, and there's a version of NumPy here, but I want NumPy 1.22.4." There are two options to install uh, the latest version. The first of them is to pass dash u here, which stands for uh, update, which means I want to update NumPy with the latest version. Okay, when I don't specify the version, it means the latest version. But in this case, the latest version on pip, not the latest version on conda, because the latest version on conda is already 1.22.3. Uh, okay, let me check my uh, connection. Uh, okay, mm, as you can see, uh, when I pass pipe and install dash u numpy, it says the requirement is here, but we are connecting numpy 1.22.4 because it, it is using the pip repository, not the conda repository. So let me open to Python on TF1 again and let me import numpy and numpy and let's check the version again. Version this is how you can access the version of different libraries. Just import it and dot pass the version, pass this statement here, dash that underline underline version, and it types out uh, the version dot 1.22. Point four, and that's it. So let me list the environments we've got again. Conda in the list, and we got two environments. The first one, which is the default one, is base, and here is the destination folder that we specified when we were installing uh, the mini Conda, and this is the TF one, the TF. Uh, all the extra environments uh, we make are located uh, under this directory with, with their name. We have one, and for example, if we create another one like Honda create dash in tf2, for example, with Python 3.9. No extra libraries, hit enter. As you can see, there are no, the, the numpy is not listed in this one. Yes, hit enter, and that's it. Okay, let me see the environments again. Okay, here we got an environment exactly under the images of this master flow too. So uh, that's it for this session. Create different uh, environments for your different tasks. It's uh, a mini condo encapsulates different packages from uh, from having any conflicts with each other in different virtual environments. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, feel free feel free to leave a comment and please like the video, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to receive all the notification of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.